Uh, but in a general public lecture, that's actually pretty good. So a lot of people who've just used Wikipedia uh, by, you know, you type some search uh, in a search engine and then you end up going to read something in Wikipedia, or maybe if you've edited uh, but only a little bit, you might not have all of the ideas behind Wikipedia and understand what it is. So I like to give the basic definition. Wikipedia is a freely licensed encyclopedia written by thousands of volunteers in many languages. So when I talk about free access to the sum of all human knowledge, or I talk about free licensing, this is a really core part of everything that we're doing. I think it's a really important thing to understand. Uh, the idea here is that we're talking about free in the sense of uh, open source software, free software. Um, this is a, a movement uh, in the software world that has become incredibly important. Um, and the idea is that um, instead of having some software that um, is, is made and then sold, uh, you know, the way um, a lot of software is, that instead it's just offered freely available uh, for anyone to change and modify. There's basically four freedoms that are important uh, in the free software idea. So you have uh, the freedom to copy, you have the freedom to modify, the freedom to redistribute, and the freedom to redistribute modified versions. And you can do all of these things commercially or non-commercially. So this set of ideas was first put forward by Richard Stallman, who founded the Free Software Foundation. And um, even if you're not a technical person, you've probably at least heard of uh, a lot of uh, open source or free software. Things like uh, Linux, uh, which is used uh, to run a lot of servers that are running the internet. Um, Apache, which is a web server or software. Uh, lots of people are using Firefox, so Firefox is available freely under a free license that you can take the source code and modify it. Well, this became a very large uh, scale movement within the, the software world and, and now coexists very uh, comfortably with uh, traditional uh, software. And I saw all these programmers coming together to create really amazing uh, projects, and I realized that people could collaborate in the same fashion on things beyond just uh, software. Um, and that, in fact, there's something really important and really powerful about this idea. Uh, we have a, a, there's an old joke in the free software movement where we say, we're talking about free as in speech, uh, not free as in beer. Um, well, this is funny. Uh, in English, we don't really have uh, two separate words, libre and gratis. Um, uh, we have only the one word free, and so it's a little confusing to people. Uh, but the idea of free uh, here is that you have these freedoms for all of the work in Wikipedia. Uh, you can do all of these things with it, which means that when people are contributing to Wikipedia, they aren't just contributing to this humanitarian project. They're actually contributing to a storehouse of knowledge that is going to be uh, able to be reused in many, many different contexts uh, in the future. So what do I mean when I say the sum of all human knowledge? Um, what is, this is to help define what does it mean to be an encyclopedia. Uh, and, and the idea is that Wikipedia is an encyclopedia. It's not anything else and it's certainly not everything in the world. Um, it's, Wikipedia is not an archive, it's not a library, uh, it's not a textbook. Um, uh, Wikipedia is not YouTube, so we don't have funny cat videos. Um, I love YouTube, I love funny cat videos, um, but there's a, all kinds of different things that people are doing online that are not encyclopedia projects, and so it's very important for us uh, within the Wikipedia world to, to always recognize the core values of the encyclopedia. We're trying to write something that is uh, neutral, high quality, factual information that people can find useful. Uh, we're not MySpace or Facebook, so we're not a social networking site. Uh, Wikipedia is very social. Um, a lot of the people who are working in Wikipedia, um, of course, they're talking to each other every day online. Uh, we have a lot of local meetups and people uh, come together and they, uh, you know, um, they'll have uh, dinner once a month and things like this. So it's a very social site, but we don't consider ourselves a social network per se. That's just not where we are. The idea is that an encyclopedia presents an essentialized <laughs> summary of human knowledge with the depth of the material depending on the context. So what this means is that if I go into Wikipedia and I look for some very general topic, uh, something like the Eiffel Tower uh, in Paris, I should get an article that is easily accessible to anyone who can read. You can understand it, uh, it tells you the basic facts about the Eiffel Tower, has a couple of pictures probably, tells the history. Um, all of those kinds of things are what you would expect to find uh, in an encyclopedia entry. Um, and if you go and you look up uh, some uh, very complex uh, concept in mathematics, 
Well, that entry is probably going to be a lot more in depth and it's going to be a little bit harder to understand. But hopefully we'll have links to other, um, uh, other articles on Wikipedia that will help you get to the point where you can understand partial differential equations or something like this. So uh, the, this is the, the, the main framework of ideas that um, defines what is in Wikipedia and what is not in Wikipedia. So I'm always talking about Wikipedia as uh, being for every single person on the planet. Um, and we are in many, many languages, but I also think it's important to recognize uh, that we have some strengths and some weaknesses in this area. So how global is Wikipedia? Well, uh, as most people are aware, English is the largest uh, version of Wikipedia with over three million articles. Uh, but there are many other languages that have uh, quite a large number of articles. Uh, we have German, French, Polish, Japanese, Italian, Dutch, Spanish, and Portuguese. Um, these languages all have more than 500,000 entries. The Germans are getting very, very close to one million. Um, they're going to reach it, uh, you know, in, in, well, just in a number of days, really. Uh, and the Italian version of Wikipedia is over 600,000 uh, entries. So, uh, and it's, uh, as you can see, it's one of the strong uh, language versions, uh, and particularly if you think about comparing it to the Spanish uh, Wikipedia, uh, because think of how many people are speaking Spanish all around the world, uh, and it's smaller than the Italian Wikipedia, so that's, that's very good. Um, we have also Russian, Swedish, and Chinese, all with more than 250,000. But what you see when you look at the top languages of Wikipedia, uh, you see that the, uh, the strongest languages of Wikipedia are uh, the European languages uh, plus Japanese and Chinese. Uh, Chinese is uh, not that big, actually, considering that there are um, far more than one billion people who are speaking Chinese. Uh, we were completely banned in China for three years, and that obviously hurt the growth. Uh, but there are more Chinese people um, outside of mainland China uh, than there are Germans, period. So, uh, and I guess than Italians, right? Uh, there are a lot of Chinese people in the world, so they, they've done quite a bit of work. Um, but you can see it's really primarily uh, in the European languages, including English. And so uh, this is really uh, where the strength is. Um, and this is something that we expect to change over time because more and more people are coming online. Um, one of the things that you might notice, which is a little bit uh, fun, is that uh, you know we have, for example, the uh, the Dutch Wikipedia and the Swedish Wikipedia are very very large, even though there are not that many people who are speaking. I just came from Norway. Norway has uh, fewer than five million people are speaking uh, Bukmal, the main language of Norway, and yet they have two hundred and thirty thousand articles. So. I always say one of the factors that contributes to the growth of uh, Wikipedia language is um, cold weather. <laughs> I mean, in, in, in Italy, in, in, uh, you know, in the evenings, you can go out for a stroll and have some gelato, and uh, in Sweden, you just stay inside and work on Wikipedia because it's too cold to go out. But, uh, uh, well, I'm joking, but I'm not so sure it's all a joke. Um, we can look here at the uh, Hindi Wikipedia, though, in contrast. So Hindi is the largest language of India, uh, and Hindi has more than 280 million uh, speakers. Uh, and so uh, in comparison to these other languages, it's very, very far behind. Um, and what are the reasons for that? Well, the reasons are all of the obvious reasons. Um, in, uh, in the Hindi language, the r rate of literacy is low, and so a lot of the people are speaking Hindi, but they can't read and write. Uh, access to technology, access to computers, um, and in particular access to broadband internet. Um, if all you have is a very slow internet connection, it can be very uncomfortable to edit Wikipedia. It just takes too long and it slows you down. Um, additionally, um, the, um, let's see, what did I say? The, 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 uh, this access to computers. Uh, oh, in, in a lot of languages, including Hindi, uh, they have a lot of problems with the keyboards, actually. Um, They've had a really hard time achieving standards. It's very hard. Uh, most of the people in India who are working on computers are working in English. Uh, the very large IT sector are very successful, uh, but the, the, the elite people who are able to afford a computer, they're all able to speak in English, and so they end up doing a lot of things in English. And one of the reasons, even though they would prefer to work in their own mother tongue, 
uh, it's very difficult to type Hindi, for example, on an English keyboard. And so that problem is slowly being solved as more and more people are coming uh, to computer technology in India. Uh, more and more people are getting Hindi keyboards or the standards have improved. It's becoming a lot easier for people to work um, in these languages. So 